Hello people, let's dive right in. So first off, find a game jam you would like to participate in, then find out about the limitations and the instructions. So in my case, it will be a game jam on fishing and the limitation is that there will be no water in the game. So then write your ideas in a document. In my case, I already had a pretty precise idea on what I would like to. Obviously the important thing in a game jam or uh, when you want to make a game in a short amount of time is keeping the scope very, very, very small. Small. So my 3D game will be a very simple cartoon and old school shooter in a laboratory. Nothing special, I just want to make sure I'll be able to complete it in a single day. So afterwards I just started making my player model. In this case it will be a half human half fish that will be quote unquote fishing the enemies. Uh, the enemies will be scientists and what I mean by fishing is transforming them into uh, fishes. So as you can see I'm obviously uh, speeding that up. Took me roughly like an hour and a half to make the model and animate it so nothing too long i wanted to keep it very very simple so i could be able to finish my game under a single day then i straight up jumped into godot and started working on a, a basic mechanics of the game so the player movements the camera movement and a basic uh, level as i said many times before i wanted to make the game as simple as possible to make sure i'm able to finish it in a single day i didn't add any fancy visuals or fancy models because I wanted the game to be fast uh, to make and also because I wanted the game to be playable in the browser because in game jams it is very important uh, for a game to be playable in the browser uh, but sadly the problem is that with 3D often the browser is laggy so I didn't manage to optimize my game properly for it to be playable in the browser so I had to export it as a downloadable file. So here's the final product after a lot of polishing and a bit more work. Um, I'll let you enjoy. Alert, alert. Experiment 2227 escaped. The monster has the fishing gun. Don't get fished. Run. And we're just, and we just get into the game. So obviously I made everything myself. Um, I used the post-processing effects to make uh, the effect that there were lights at the bottom of the walls. Uh, the textures, I simply made them in Photoshop in like five minutes and I applied them to uh, the meshes uh, on the grid map I made. I'll show how to do this in the first tutorials. And after killing all the scientists, we can just simply head into this green yellow zone and level completed with our time and the number of scientists we've fished. And we can press restart to start the level again. I hope you liked this quick video and how I made a game in a single day. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have uh, any questions or uh, comments. Uh, join the Discord server, it will allow uh, you to exchange with the community. There's a few people already that joined it and I would like uh, to create a community there. Uh, so in the future, when I go and, and participate in two game jams, uh, you could participate in, with me and we could make a team. So join the Discord server and uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.